sound of the harp is very warm, I find, and actually playing it, you feel it very much is part of your body. You feel the actual the vibrations of the instrument going through your body because you hold it on your knees and on your shoulder as well. I'm Janetta Barry, and I'm a harpist here in Calgary. I started playing harp when I was 10, but I actually fell in love with it when I was three years old. My parents gave me a toy harp at that time for Christmas. And the harp is such a technically complex instrument as well, so you're really working on a lot of different levels. Um, musically, trying to get your fingers on the right strings, your feet on the pedals. There are seven pedals that are moving all of the time. Um, and so you actually have to stay quite uh, unemotional, a little bit detached from it. I actually was living in Germany when I first started teaching the harp. And I discovered at that time that I actually am very, very passionate about it and that opportunity to share my own passion. It's a very rare instrument to play and it's just been very enjoyable for me. It took me a long time to get past the point of difficulty, but it's, it's very enjoyable. So this fall, I'm going to be going to Brazil, yeah, Rio specifically at the beginning, to teach with uh, some students who actually are living in the favelas in Rio. These children have really nothing available to them, but they found that by bringing instruments and opportunities for music lessons into these areas, that they've given children an opportunity to reach to different, different heights uh, that they never would have had an opportunity to even discover music, um, and then the possibilities that that world opens for them. So I've been enjoy invited to join this program, which has been established for approximately 30 years now. But they have no harps. Lots and lots of little instruments like violins and oboes and clarinets. Um, but they have no harps, so that's why I've uh, decided that I'm going to do the fundraising to try to take some instruments down there, as well as my own very first harp. I think she's, it's, it's wonderful what she's doing. It's, it's just great so that other kids can actually play the harp. It's very sad when we have areas in the world like Brazil where children have so little available to them that they really don't have opportunities to find their voice. I think it's really important for us in this very wealthy part of the world to do what we can to uh, make some opportunities happen and for me it's the only way I can do it is by taking the talent that I have and, and directly sharing that there.